Yo, hey there everyone and welcome back to our Minecraft. So in today's video, I will be showing you guys how you can download and install any Windows operating system on your um, on your iOS device without need for any jailbreak or any PC required at all. Now guys, this is a very simple and easy method and today I'm going to be showing you guys how simple and easy it actually is. So guys, whether you want to download and install a uh, windows 7 windows xp you can even install windows 10 if you want to uh today i'm gonna be showing you guys how simple and easy it actually is before we continue guys we are so close to 10,000 subscribers that i am actually pretty shocked that we haven't hit it uh yet so please guys if you enjoyed today's video if you think it's helpful please do leave a like and subscribe anyways guys let's get into today's video so guys the first thing you want to do is open the app store right here go over here and then search utm right up here let's go ahead and search utm in the search bar and it should be this one right here now it should be the retro pc emulator now you can hit on get and then simply install it really quickly and now all you have to do is just wait for it to finish installing now it is 1.73 gigs so it might take a while to do so yeah let's wait for this to finish downloading okay guys so once it has been installed right here at the utm simply hit on the um create new virtual machine right here and then hit on download pre-built from the gallery or whatever it is and then simply scroll down i'm going to just show you guys how to do windows 7 right here simply download it wait for it to download and then it should be downloaded right here now simply click on it and then click on it again to unzip it then go back to utm hit on open now scroll down till you find this one right here and then hit on open and it should take you to this thingy right here okay guys so the next step here would be to download any um windows 7 version but you have to download the iso file of it so simply search for like windows 7 tiny iso file version download and then simply download it right here so guys in our okay guys so once you have downloaded whatever iso file you have simply uh, open the utm app again go to the cd slash dvd and then go to this and then click on the iso file right here now guys, the next step would be to hit on the three thingies at the top right, right here. Go into QMU and then turn off the U, UEFI boot. Just to ensure that it boots directly into the Windows 7 right here. Now simply hit on save and now simply run it right here. And it should begin uh, loading right here. As you guys can see, Windows is loading files. And it should begin booting into a operating and a working uh, operating system which would be in this case the tiny 7 uh, windows version so as i said guys you can download any version you want to as long as you show that it works you know and uh, you know you can do windows xp you can do windows 10 windows 11 but they do have larger download sizes so yeah that will take quite a long time to load in and you know to actually start uh, booting and all the stuff like that but yeah it all depends on the what purpose you want to use it for of course it is a pretty decent uh, it's a very cool thing to do but of course it does have its limits it does have its limitations and stuff like that I'm also not too sure if peripherals work while connected with this um, maybe it could work but of course you know maybe it needs some special um peripherals to work with it um previously while testing this um the mouse does work i believe if you plug in in my case i have the ipad uh m2 pro so it works with the type c jack so i plugged it in and it was working so i believe it should be working for you guys as well when it comes to the keyboard i am not too sure guys i'll be honest with you it could possibly work but i wouldn't count on it too much as you guys can see we are booting into uh windows right here as you guys can see microsoft corporation everything is working perfectly it will take some time to boot up the first time but after that it should be a pretty a pretty fast a pretty quick and an enjoyable experience to boot it up 
And also let me know, know if you guys want a Linux tutorial, art tutorial or anything like that. And uh, I will gladly make one for you guys. As you guys can see, we have booted into a working version of Windows 7 on our iPad right here. Okay, so okay, so as you guys can see here, we have it working right here. And then just drag it and then double click it. This is all done by this via the screen, by the way. So you can drag it and then use it as a touchscreen so basically the touchscreen is the mouse right here so now just uh, uh, where it's installing the windows so we're just gonna click on disk 0 or disk 1 or whatever and then hit on next so let's wait for this to load then And now as you guys can see, Windows is uh, restarting right now, so let's just restart it here. And uh, now let's just wait for it. And as you guys can see, the iconic Windows 7 logo is loading in. And as you guys can see, we have a working version of Windows 7 on our iPad right here. So yeah, as you guys can see, it is working and it's booting in really quickly. But yeah, this is how we are running Windows on our iPad right here.